the first thing we have to do when given the moles and the liters is find the molarity of all the chemicals given. So we took the 0 0.05 moles of both hydrogen and bromine and divided by the five liters given. So we know the initial molarities of both the hydrogen and the bromine. You can assume that there's no hydrogen bromide, hydrobromic acid in the beginning uh, because the reaction hasn't started yet. We plug those numbers into the ice table. We don't know what the change for hydrogen and bromine are going to be, but we do know that they're gonna be the same number because they're in a one-to-one -one ratio in the balanced chemical equation. The change for the hydrobromic acid is gonna be twice that of the hydrogen and bromine due to the two in the balanced chemical equation. The reactants are always gonna decrease the products are always going to increase. And so we have negative X on the left-hand side, positive two X on the right-hand side. With our equilibrium expression, we have to take that hydrobromic acid and square it due to that two once again in the balanced chemical equation. Products over reactants, hydrogen and bromine don't have coefficients, so they don't have exponents. They did tell us in the problem what the value of K was. So I can substitute that into my equilibrium expression. The tricky part is, is that the math is just gross with all those squares, but something to be on the lookout for when you're taking your test soon on equilibrium is to take the square root of both sides and it makes the algebra so much easier. If we take the square root of 64 on the left-hand side, that turns into just eight and then the right-hand side now becomes just 2x over 0 0.010 minus x. A little bit of algebra. We distribute that 8. We move some stuff around, solve for x, and we get 0 0.0080 for x. But what did x represent again? Look back at your ice table. x was representing the changes for hydrogen and bromine. If we plug those into our equilibrium uh, line there, the equilibrium for both the hydrogen and the bromine is 0 0.010 minus x. So if x is 0 0.008, we subtract, and we can find our values for hydrogen and bromine. Hydrobromic acid was 2x, so we take that value of x and double it, and we can get the equilibrium molarity for the hydrobromic acid.